What's going on, everyone? Happy Sunday to everyone. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy. If you had to take a COVID test, hopefully you have tested negative. If you did test positive, I hope you have a full and speedy recovery with no long COVID issues. It is time now for the Sunday edition of the Pandemic Update for Sunday, April 14th, 2024. If you're new to my channel, this is where we do the daily pandemic update on all things COVID and any other viruses that could be a health threat to you. Let's face it, there's a lot of viruses out there, not just covid other viruses as well. They all can be a threat to your health. You could get infected and people in your family could get infected. So it's good that you're informed and try to stay safe. How do you become informed? You watch my pandemic updates and you subscribe to my channel down below. If you like these updates, give them a thumbs up. If you want to share these with other people by all means hit that share button down below and share these with anyone you know and of course if you have anything you would like to say please leave a comment down below comment on anything that you see here or anything you would just like to say i love reading your comments and the more comments and interactions we get the more youtube pushes this out through the algorithm because youtube recognizes that hey the people are enjoying these videos. All right, we do have just a couple of news stories today. Then we're going to take a look at some data. And of course, we are going to do our wastewater bonanza. Hopefully, we'll be able to use wastewater scan. We've been trying to do this update for the better part of an hour now. And each time, wastewater scan keeps freezing. We tried something a little bit different. Hopefully, that is going to solve the problem. But if not, we'll just look at COVID through the CDC dashboard today through the different regions of the United States. All right, starting off today, measles case has been confirmed in a visitor who traveled through L.A. County, California. You know, Los Angeles, health officials say. If you want to see more about this, head on over to my Twitter page, at COVID Data Report, and you can read the full details of this. But what I will tell you is that this exposure, the infected person traveled in Los Angeles County from Saturday, March 30th to Sunday, April 1st. And this is not a person who is a resident of Los Angeles. And if you go uh, read more about this, it'll show you all the potential exposures. Also, this is rather important. England, you know, over in the UK, they are launching a spring booster vaccination campaign for those who are highest at risk, you know, the high risk people who could easily uh, develop severe disease. Anyone could develop severe disease, but some are more high risk than others of catching severe COVID. Therefore, there is another round of boosters out for them. Let's take a look at what is going on with air qualities across the United States. And we do see that for the most part, Things are good. Things are good in the Northeast. Things are good on the East Coast. Just a couple minor areas here and there. Same goes for the Great Lakes. Just a few minor areas. And we are seeing some minor areas of concern down in the South in Texas and Oklahoma. But we are seeing some yellows, reds, oranges in Central California. And also some yellows and oranges up in portions of Washington. And even some reds today and portions of Montana. So that's something we have to be concerned about. Something else we should be concerned about, something we don't always talk about here. We used to always uh, refer to my climate channel. Haven't had time to post on that. So I want to show this to you real quickly. The Storm Prediction Center in the United States is putting out an enhanced risk of severe weather across portions of Pennsylvania and Ohio, where there's a minor threat for tornadoes. There is an enhanced risk of wind damage, and there is the threat of hail today. If you live in these areas, please be mindful of that. Going forward, I think from time to time, we will show the severe threats because it's important. You need to stay safe from that as well. Taking a look at the Philadelphia EMS call volume for Saturday, 743 EMS incidents were reported. And taking a live look at what is going on in the suburbs, and we do see there are 10 calls right now in Montgomery County, unconscious subject, fall victim, respiratory emergency, subject in pain, hemorrhaging, nauseous vomiting, cardiac emergency, fever, Head injury and syncopal episode. Taking a look at what is going on in Chester County, Pennsylvania, we see there are a few calls going on there as well. Walgreens, unfortunately, still no update out of them. New Jersey did give an update, and let's take a look at the hospitals. Uh, 54 out of 70 hospitals reported there. 
with 162 hospitalizations. Five people are on a ventilator, and in the ICU at this time, 20 discharges. There were 34 discharges. All right, it is time now for our wastewater bonanza. Let's take a look at the various different wastewater sites across the country, mainly for COVID. Normally, we would show you wastewater scan. We're going to try. If it freezes, we have to go back to CDC, and we'll just take a look at the COVID sites across the country. But first off, let's start off with Biobot. And we can see at Biobot, just about all the regions are dropping at this time, with the exceptions to the northeast region of the United States, which is seeing a slight rise for COVID at this time. Taking a look at what is going on in uh, wastewater, as for variants, JN.1 is the top variant, and there is a slight rise of the JN.1. 1.13 variant at this time as well. Now headed over to the CDC page. You know what? Let's go to the other CDC page first. Taking a look at, you know, just on a statewide level, what the uh, statewide level of COVID would be in several different states. And we can see that it's still high in Tennessee. It's also still high in Missouri. Remember, there was the path of totality from the eclipse in the past week. And in the coming week, I think we'll start to see if that is going to lead to any spread of COVID in places. Some places are still moderate, such as Minnesota. How about Maine? Maine's coming in low. Delaware is still moderate at this time. Virginia is still moderate. Alabama is still moderate, and still moderate in Arkansas as well, low in Oklahoma, low in Texas, minimal levels now being detected in California. Same deal with New York where, hey, we hope in the upcoming week, New York hospitalizations will drop below 500. We'll have to see. Stay tuned. You'll want to stay tuned to the updates throughout the week for that. Wyoming is minimal, and then there's a whole bunch of states that are either minimal or they're just not really reporting all that much because they're coming in white on this map and actually gray is the color that says insufficient data and that would be north dakota and arizona at this time now taking a look at the cdc wastewater site there are several different colors which includes one that is not listed on the color code on the right the, those are gray sites and any site that is coming up in gray that indicates that it has not updated in some time. White sites are new sites, or just sites that are reappearing on the map. There are 47 of them. These dark blue sites, which is 0 to 19% COVID detected, there are 449 of them. That is really low levels of COVID, and we don't mind if that number gets high because that means that things are relatively low and doing well. 20 to 39 percent COVID detected. That is this moderate shade of blue, and there are 578 sites there. It's still lower levels of COVID, but you're getting a little bit higher. Uh, quite a few sites in that category. That's down by 5 percent. 40 to 59 percent COVID detected. That's these light blue sites. There's 216 of them. That's down by 10 percent. Starting to get into the moderate range now. And 60 to 79 percent, which is moderate to high. 57 sites in that range. And that is down by 12 percent. And we can also see here that 80 to 100 percent. That's these red sites. There are seven of them at this time. And we will take a look at the various different regions here on the CDC website starting off in the northeast let's go over to maine and see what's going on there you can see there's a lot of wastewater sites in maine and for the most part we're not seeing terribly concerning levels but cumberland county maine at least on here is rising slightly and remember portland is in cumberland county maine when i go over to wastewater scan well, let's try for it wastewater scan we'll see what is going on there and Wastewater scan for Portland shows a different picture, because remember, this updates more frequently. You can see, they did have that slight rise going into April, but now they are dropping at this time, and already wastewater scan site has froze. But you can see here, if you take a look here, it is starting to drop, so this does update more frequently. Yes, we know. The page is not responding. It hasn't been responding all day long. So we're going to stick with the CDC site. Unfortunately, I can't show you the other viruses this week. Uh, pay attention in the pandemic updates during the week. We'll take a look at some of the other viruses. Hopefully, Wastewater Scan will fix whatever their issue is, because I have tried several different browsers. I've tried a different computer, and it even freezes up on that computer as well. So it is clearly an issue 
on their end. Uh, continuing on here, let's go down to York County, Maine. 16,000 population dropping ever so slightly at this time. Coming down, we do want to take a look at the Boston area, and there is a big wastewater site here in Boston. If it will come up, there it is, 2.4 million population, and I was seeing on wastewater scan when it was working that they were seeing a slight rise for COVID. Taking a look at what is going on in Worcester, Worcester is flat at this time. That site's not always updating. Let's take a look at Long Island, New York, Nassau County. and seeing an ever so slight drop at this time. Still seeing some orange up in Dutchess County, New York. And this site is rising at this time. Take a look at that. Let's go to upstate New York and see what's going on there. How about we come closer to Saratoga? We're 152,000 population, and it is slot at this time. Let's go to northern New York. This was in the path of totality, and we can see up in northern New York, Essex County, it is dropping at this time. Also, we can go out to Niagara. Niagara is still in the moderate, flat at this time. Don't know if that has updated recently. Coming down to State College, Pennsylvania. Center County, Pennsylvania, 90,000 population. They are having a big event there this weekend, which is called Blue and White. It's not as big as a regular Penn State football game, but it does increase the number of people in that area. And take a look at this. At the same time, COVID is rising at this time. Coming down south into Virginia, we still do see some orange in Virginia at this time in uh, several different states where COVID levels, they are leveled at this time. Here's another one that's in the light blue shade. It's dropping at this time. Let's take a stop in North Carolina in the Greensboro area, and we can see things are dropping at this time. Now coming down to Florida, if we can, some of these sites, they're not updating on the CDC page. Remember, we can't use wastewater scan right now because there's uh, clearly a glitch going on, and I doubt it would get fixed over the weekend. Miami-Dade, Hasn't updated recently. That is flat at this time. Let's take a look at Atlanta area. Cobb County, Atlanta. Again, this is COVID. It's the only virus we're looking at right now. It's COVID. 190,000 population. It has stopped dropping. It's leveled off. It may even be trying to rise once again. Floyd County, Georgia. Uh, Floyd County, Georgia. 75,000 population. Dropping slightly at this time. And let's come over here to Louisiana. Where we just do see that there is some orange and some red. St. Mary Parish in Louisiana is seeing 16,779 population. It's red, but it is starting to drop at this time. Then we come up to Richland, Louisiana, and we can see here that you have 3,695 population and your level's in the orange, but dropping at this time. Continuing on, let's make our way back to the north a little more. Again, we're not looking at every wastewater site in the country. If we clicked on every wastewater site in a video, it'd probably be about four or five hour video. I'm serious. It would be that long of a video because there's a lot of wastewater sites out there. In Ohio, seeing just one orange site in Huron County, Ohio, very small wastewater site. It's dropping, and hopefully that will eventually uh, change to a lower color, such as a blue color, which is better news. Union County, Ohio, seeing a slight rise at this time. Let's go over to Hamilton County, seeing a slight rise there as well. And Franklin County, which is Columbus, Ohio, 645,000 population, and seeing a slight rise at this time. Coming up in here to Michigan, let's see what's going on. We are seeing, eh, terribly not bad. Look at this. Actually, look at dropping, dropping, dropping on almost every wastewater site we click on. Kalamazoo, you're dropping as well. All right, Chicago, there's some really big wastewater sites here, but we want to see what's going on with them. Let's zoom in. We really need to zoom in for this one. Here it is, Cook County, 1,134,897 people. I think that classifies as a huge wastewater site. Cook County, and it is dropping at this time. Still in the light shade of blue, though. DuPage is at 86,000 population. That actually has not updated. There's another DuPage at 65,000 population, and that is dropping at this time. I am seeing some orange up here in Minnesota, in Goodhue, Minnesota. 16,000 population. It's orange, but it hasn't really updated at this time. Taking a look in Kansas, just seeing one orange site that is not really updating at this time. Now let's make our way out to the west coast. We'll see what's going on out here. We'll just do a few wastewater sites out here. Washoe, Nevada, 300,000 population. Your COVID levels are in the red still, but 
some good news. They are dropping at this time, so hopefully you will come down into the orange levels eventually. Taking a look at what's going on in San Francisco area, here's a smaller website, wastewater site for San Francisco, California, where it is flat at this time. Coming down closer to Orange, California, Orange County, 1,800 population, and it is dropping at this time. Look at this, dropping with 1.8 million population. So that is good to see. Taking a look at what is going on in Arizona, and underneath this dark blue, we are seeing an orange site. Here is Maricopa County, which is seeing a rise at this time, and that's not good. So you're still in the orange, and your COVID levels are rising at this time. Another Maricopa County site, is not doing too bad here's another one that's rising ever so slightly i could have sworn there was a big site here somewhere and maybe we're just not seeing it for some reason here's one look at this 88,000 population and it is literally going straight up for covid at this time that is not good to see now let's go back to the east a little bit and let's end our tour of wastewater sites in texas shall we what is going on in the houston area there's quite a few wastewater sites here harris county texas is dropping you're in the orange at this time harris fort ben continuing to drop just randomly going along here we are still seeing dropping levels. We still do see some orange. Here's another Harris County site, which has started to rise ever so slightly again. 59,188 population, so that's something uh, we'll have to keep an eye on. I don't know if that previously was orange, but again, your levels are starting to go up ever so slightly again. Taking a look at the Dallas metro area, and I don't believe these sites are updating. No, they're not. But we're not seeing any red, we're not seeing any orange, so that is some good news. Alrighty, folks, that does it for the Sunday edition of the Pandemic Update. We'll have another Pandemic Update again tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll be able to do some wastewater scan sites throughout the week. Whatever that issue is, hopefully it will be fixed. I will see you all again next time. But until I see you again next time, you need to do a few things. First off, subscribe if you're new to the channel down below. Give this a thumbs up if you like the content. If you have any comments on anything you saw today, leave a comment down below. And of course, share these videos with anyone you know. I will see you again next time. Until next time, stay safe everyone and have a fantastic Sunday afternoon. Thanks for watching.